Dick DiBartolo, Mad Magazine's Maddest Writer. And the Gizwiz, we're here at Toy Fair 2015. You know, I was walking by and I thought, nah, race cars, we've seen that, done that. And then I saw this from Fast Company, world's top 10 most innovative companies of 2015 in gaming. And I know we have a lot of gamers in our audience. So we nailed down Boris, and he's going to fill us in on what we're seeing. Yeah. Real pleasure to talk to you, thank you. Uh, this is Anki Overdrive, which is the next generation of uh, the Anki Drive franchise. And what you're looking here, uh, at here is a, uh, is a battle racing game um, and what is the sort of environment is that you can build with it. So it's made out of modular track pieces. The cars are intelligent robotic cars. They understand exactly where they are. They have weapons, special abilities. They can be customized. And all the games run out of, uh, off of mobile devices like iOS and Android devices that become the brains behind the gameplay in the real world. Now, are, are these just arbitrarily running around or is someone actually controlling them as we're standing here? So these are being controlled uh, um, automatically, but they're more than anything doing a choreography. The game over there is, uh, uh, that you'll see in a bit is, um, uh, is what the experience itself is. And what you would do is you would actually control the cars with your phone or iPod Touch or iPad or Android device. And whichever ones you're not driving, they would come to life and be self-aware and compete against you. And that's part of the magic. It's a video game in the real world. So even if, so if you're playing alone, you're still in a competition. Right. You could play by yourself against three other opponents that are AI-controlled characters. And they have their own personality. There's characters that are driving them. They'll talk against you. They'll uh, taunt you and compete They'll against you. They'll plot against you. They'll plot. It's, uh, Isn't that nice? You come, <laughs> you come home and your cars are plotting against you. Uh, so well, let's walk over yeah, there, there okay, and uh, you can start here. Yeah, that's totally fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and um, hit play solo here, which means I'm on my own. You've got a couple of different modes. Race means you're just going around the track as fast as you possibly can. Battle mode is where you're trying to essentially disable the other cars. I'm going to go ahead and start that. So it's kind of like, uh, like a Mario Kart or a Need for Speed type of thing, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull the tr uh, cars off the track. We're going to go ahead and get all four of them going. I'm going to select Ground Shock, this blue one right here. You see the color of the uh, light changes on the car to let you know that that's the car you selected. Great. Add a couple more players. Now, what you're looking at here is a series of commanders. Now, these are video game characters, essentially, that have been designed to have different characteristics. And each one of them has a different playing style, like what Boris was talking about, where some of them are more defensive, some of them are more aggressive. So I'm going to go ahead and select him. He's going to take control of this new car here. And then once he goes through his little spiel, and if it wasn't so loud in here, you'd be able to hear some of his character sounds. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, hit add player. We're going to add another commander. Let's just go ahead and select uh, the dark there. This one here is going to be uh, Thermo, which is going to be this red car here. He's going to change color. We'll give him a little chance to get all settled in. And then the last one we're going to add is Skull right here. So when we hit add player right here, let's just go ahead and add blue shift. So these are all different characters. And there's Skull. He's the only car left. So now that we've got all four of them on there, I'm going to go ahead and place these cars on the track. And actually, I'll just put them right over here. And then once I hit start, what's going to happen is it's actually just going to uh, show you who's playing the game. And you can play against your friends or against the computer. In this case, it's important to know that I'm the only human player on this particular mode, right? So I'm going to be taking control of the blue car here, Blue Shock, but the rest of them are all AI cars that are thinking for themselves. So I'm going to go really slow here as the blue car, but watch the rest of them. They're going to actually start adapting to the way each other play and the way I play to try and develop a strategy to beat me and to beat each other. So the first person to five points is going to win this game. And how are you uh, collecting the points? That's a great question. And the way that you do that actually in this mode is you've got a series of different weapons. If you look over here on my, under my right thumb, I have something called the Pulse Carbine. Now if I speed up and run into, another, or excuse me, get behind another car, like if I slow down, get out of the way, I'm gonna speed up, I'm gonna get behind him and I'll hold down this Pulse Carbine. You see the front of my car light up and glow? The back right. of that car is gonna glow. I just disabled him, so I just got one point. So the first person to five points is gonna win this game. When you buy Overdrive, are you buying four cars, the track, and using your own device to control it? Yes, that's exactly what you're doing. So the starter kit's gonna oh, come. Is, with, is this what we're looking at here? Yeah, the starter kit right here, which is coming out September 15th. Okay. It's going to actually include 10 track pieces. So what you see here is one of the many configurations that you can have um, with the starter kit. So fresh out of here, you have 10 track pieces. You can configure eight different ways to make eight different tracks fresh out of the box. And then from there, you get um, also a four car charger, a tire cleaner, and two cars. And then like you said, you have an app that you can download for free on your own device, and then the game is controlled from there. And in September, that will sell for? Uh, $149.99. Okay. Yep. That is really neat. Dick DiBartolo, Mads Maddest Rider, a nun driver, by the way.
and this is great fun. I could do more damage in a real car than they can do <laughs> on this little track, but it's great. Overdrive here at Toy Fair 2015. 